Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. What type of visual field defect is most likely to be noted in a patient with a craniopharyngeal? So, it is one of the most important questions that in case of craniopharyngeal, what type of visual field defect develop here the options options are lower bitemporal hemianopia upper bitemporal hemianopia right superior quadrianopia or right homonymous hemianopia and left homonymous hemianopia so we have to find out one of the option which is will be the answer of the question so here first of all you can see this is the section of the brain and in the cross section of the brain here you can see the different aspects of brain including this is the hypothalamus then have the optic pituitary gland and here we can see the optic chiasma is located here and this is the optic nerve and here we can see the tumor which is the craniopharyngioma which compress the this is the optic chiasma from the above and in this case we can see the bitemporal hemianopia develop as it is compressed from the upper part so bitemporal hemianopia occur in the lower part but in some cases this is the when the pituitary adenoma develop or pituitary tumor develop then this case such as the pituitary tumor here or pituitary tumor here it will compress in the upper area so there will be develop homonymous hemianopia or bitemporal hemianopia in case of that bitemporal hemianopia but in the upper part but here we can see the compression occur from upper to lower so as it is compressed to the lower part then it will causes lower bitemporal hemianopia so this point is very very important that in case of tumor in the upper part of optic chiasma it will compress in the lower area and causes lower bitemporal hemianopia and in case of pituitary tumor it will compress the optic chiasma to the upward towards the upward so in this case there will be development of the upper bitemporal hemianopia so this position is very very important in case of craniopharyngeal that means it's located in the upper part so it compresses in the lower area and causes the lower bitemporal hemianopia so this point here we can see this is the lower quadrianopia defect and upper quadrianopia defect it is the superior chiasmatic compression and commonly craniopharyngeal so this point is very important that superior chiasmatic compression that means the compression in the upper part and if compression occurs through lower part this is the pituitary adenoma in that case there will be answer upper bitemporal hemianopia and in this case as the craniopharyngioma it lies in the upper part it compresses the lower part and causes lower bitemporal hemianopia thank you